everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Power Connect. Show you Mr. Connect to some of your favorite celebrities, personalities, or let me just say, but I want to talk about Pangen Tatuko in the industry and they deserve to be here. On today's episode, I'm very excited because it's going to be a little bit different. That's quite a musician, Fidelio and Settimilator, I'm a musician, but then these two gentlemen have done so much for the Zambian industry that now to be kaka de kuchalo. Kwa isa wako na idea want to be that Africa Top 30, the one where they put the culture shifters across the African continent. These two gentlemen did make it on that list for 2023 and they've been doing amazing things. Before podcasts were a norm in Zambia, they decided to shift that narrative and they changed it. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest on today's episode of Power Connect, my gentleman rapper Z podcast, that Z podcast, and that's Elson and K Plus. They will be my guests today. So if you have very raw and unfiltered, that is what they're going to be doing on today's show. But before I bring them on the show, be sure to be a part of the conversation via our social media platforms, Power TV, Zambia, Facebook, Instagram, Naku, Twitter, and we're going to be together all the way until 13.30. The vibes are definitely right. So we're going to play you some music on the other side. My guests will be joining me in studio. At Yemi Arade featuring Angelique Kijo. Now, this one is one of K Plus's favorite songs. We're going to be talking to him about why he likes this song, what it does to him. And a little bit later on the show, also, twice at the dice, I'm going to selection and choice here quite Elson. But for now, to keep it power, do not change that doubt. Muchi Munzi Nizi.
Tuning in, we are still connecting, and I mentioned earlier that Le Lorin Kotokama, two gentlemen from That Z Podcast, Elson, a very popular face. I'm pretty sure he don't need an introduction now. K Plus as well, representing That Z Podcast. How are you doing, gentlemen? All good. Ah, All good. We're very chilled. We're gonna start on the veranda. Elson. Today, coffee engine first. I feel like Elson is um, like he'd be chilled, but he's like really just reading things, and then he's just gonna drop a bomb. Elson, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, great. Yeah, I kept plus. I'm like a fan. Yeah. Nishi. I mean, it's your show. We don't want to take take over. And it is. Turn, I mean, turn it into that Z podcast. You know I mean, what I mean? We so. could. We could. I think that could be fun about it. The only yeah. thing is, we can't cast. Tell him. Because it's on live television. No, no, no. I'm Tell letting him, him know. <laughs> Right. You know he curses more than I do, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> so does he like act as the good guy in front of the cameras? Right. He does that. Yep. Making you look like the bad guy. Imagine that. You know what? I'll believe it. I don't know about that. So you've known me longer than you've known him, so. <laughs> and remember, you know we've still got a friendship after the show, so be careful. We still do have a friendship, <laughs> but you know what? Um, I'm just going to take it for what you've shown us. But you two can be a part of the conversation. If you have questions for the gentleman here, Power TV Zambia, that's on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. It's also on our WhatsApp. But it's on Instagram. Uh, WhatsApp 0974913913. Send your messages through. I'll be reading them a little bit later. But I'm very excited to host you. And congratulations. Thank you. For being a part of the top 30. You know. Trace Africa. I feel like you guys are not like you're not you're like you're like very chilled. Guys, it's not okay, a job cool. interview. All right, let's do this. Uh -huh. Sorry. Cool. Yes, it's not Good a job day. interview. K plus. Yes. It's not a job interview. I don't know why you were You, you don't know on the podcast, it's totally different no, from me. Yeah? New Mercedes. <laughs> oh it hasn't sunk in yet. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh like uh, you know what? I have a Merc, so he's trying to yeah. act like a boss. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, the building you <laughs> <laughs> like bring it to the studio you know what let's bring it we I, can, think we should. Uh, I think we I th should yeah i think we could have had this out you can put your keys like right here <laughs> like every mercedes driver oh has. you know let me well, you've like, seen that right yes oh he could like this yeah like so you know what no, they, they, they hold them here like <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you know what congratulations yeah is it safe to say this is from the podcast yeah, it but is. Like, mine's been working. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about, um, and I'm pretty sure we had this conversation a little bit. Uh, we touched base on the start of the podcast. Yes. At the time you started the podcast, I think very few people in Zambia wanted to do that or wanted to take that direction. It wasn't a very common thing. Mm. And you were sort of the trendsetters that have brought it, and now it's sort of normal, and people are doing it. So at the time you were starting it, was it like a leap of faith? Did you know what you wanted to achieve from the podcast? Mm. Or was it, I'm just going to do this for fun? What do you mean call it a leap of faith, or more like just setting out on a hobby let's just have fun and see where this mm -hmm. takes us yeah it wasn't we knew what we wanted to do uh, yeah we knew, pretty much yeah we knew what we wanted to do uh give out quality content on a podcast and have fun yeah we, we didn't know how big it'll get though. exactly mm -hmm. yeah was it like was so fun and interesting off cameras like do you ever think that would you guys ever get like a reality show because i feel like you're pretty hilarious reality show uh, i think it'd be boring, what don't eh? you want to uh, show us no i don't know i <coughs> nobody would watch that i don't think anybody because you know what he does in his spare time uh, he's at home you don't want to do my spare time uh, i'm yeah. at home so that's what you get to nobody, see nobody wants to watch that and yeah nobody wants to watch yeah. that nah. i think watch people that. are more interested in people that, that are, like fake lawyers on facebook that mm. show off with cars they don't own shout out simon <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a, uh, no, he said lawyer showing off and Simon does that and oh. that's like his signature thing so. uh, I, I, I did I, Really? He does that? <laughs> except the fake part, I don't know about the fake cars and stuff but showing off he does that's, He does, no, yeah. he does that a lot I think, it, yeah. That's I also a signature think, thing, yeah I also feel like Zambians jump on that wave a lot Like, do you think people give you a lot of attention when you brag a little bit? I don't know mm. Mm. No, I know I why they give you attention, I'll tell you. Give who attention? You. It's because of what you said, like you're very raw, like you're very like uh, nonchalant. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say what I wanna say. So yeah, you don't necessarily have to come and tell us I own this. But you've seen there's a trend where people have to come yeah. and they say, Oh, I own this, I own that, then they sort of get the attention of the people. Yeah, but I mean look at the country we're living in right now. Mm. How many people have, you know? Well, let's start from there, yeah. <laughs> 
So if anybody shows off the little that they have on mm -hmm. social media, yeah. the many that don't have, you know, get excited. So mm -hmm. I think it's an easy way of getting numbers in Zambia, especially when they're coming from a country that's considered by the UN as a third world poor nation. Yeah. So the majority of people are living below the poverty line. Mm -hmm. So anybody who goes above that poverty line is standing out you know what i mean but so again perception is not everything exactly perception is not reality exactly so people are following that perception on social media so thinking think they're reality there. shows aren't really reality shows no they're <laughs> not <laughs> no they're not which which reality do you think is like really really fake from the ones is it have? really really fake yeah um what, what's the one with um <laughs> with bombshell and um royal clique yeah yeah um, it, the beef day is manufactured. Do we have a lot of reality shows? We have yeah, three. Bunga. The one that Iris shot. Oh, even Iris well, had a reality show. Well, oh. I was talking about that one, but like mm. the earlier one, but yeah, even that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! But mm, yeah, so Royal Click, you don't like the also, fact you that, watch that what Royal Click? No. Which one? The other Irish production, like the very early. The very early yeah. production. Yeah. I did not see it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we spoke about in the episode that got cancelled. Oh. The other one, bro. Oh, the other, other, other one. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you're talking about. So, what do you not like about Royal Click? It's not real. Um, mm. You can pretty much tell that a lot of it has been scripted. You can <coughs> tell that they manufacture drama to keep people entertained. Mm. She's just hot in here. It is. It's. It's. it's I'm in here, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know. You can just basically see through it that mm. they they followed this um, Kardashian script, if I can call it that. Mm. Yeah. K plus. I know K plus is like K plus. I don't feel safe. Like, oh no, I don't want to say. Well. At, at this point, it's not even about being safe. I've just never watched it, so I don't know like anything about it. Like any reality show. I've seen it on never... billboards. Mm. Well, you're talking about any reality show any, in Zambia. Yeah, not specifically that one. You know, I'm mostly on Netflix. I mm. hardly watch anything on terrestrial TV mm. nowadays, so... You know what? You actually said that. Sonny Shtari Kujoni Waka eventually also said, Ah, nah, you know, I, I don't really watch this stuff. Yeah, I'm either watching podcasts on YouTube mm -hmm. or, well, some... Like a really compelling podcast, yeah, yeah. I'd I'd watch that. Mm -hmm. Or I'll be on Netflix or Amazon. What's the Amazon one? Amazon Prime. Prime. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll I'll be on that or Netflix. Yeah. Okay, great. Now oh, let's hey, talk about look at that. We're on TV. Yes, you are on TV. You're famous. <laughs> You're very famous. Has that like? Do you do you know when did you know that you were famous? Famous. Uh, I'm not famous. You are. <laughs> okay. When did you have like a popular Elson moment? Mm, I'll tell you. So I was driving from from Dollar to Lusaka. Mm -hmm. And I made an illegal turn, mm -hmm. and I got stopped at the police. Mm -hmm. And I told you about this story, right? It's my story is also a police story. <laughs> <laughs> So you get in trouble a lot. Okay. Yeah, so well, let, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. The window. Uh -huh. Because like, ah, oh, the guy from the Z podcast. All right, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> so do you like use your face down now a lot? Like when you when you get say to a checkpoint, you're just like, hi, no, gentlemen. No, no, I don't. No, you don't. No, I don't. Ah, okay. So you've never used like your popularity, your fame, to like get away with something. I remember. The, do you remember the time that we were living from Livingston mm -hmm. and we were late for the flight? Mm. Yeah. You remember that? What happened there? Those are police experience again. No, no. you just late like that. You remember like we went to Livingston and then Oh we're late and every, the, all, the, all the stuff by the thing, the till started helping us exactly. rush to the Yeah, so Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we... It must be nice if we're late to be there and your story. Yeah, we're, we're getting to your levels. We're working hard mm, to get to your levels. I'm trying to get to your level. Okay, tell me your story. That's it's pretty much the same thing. The same like you always Yeah, got this, there this and is like last week. I'm in a, a checkpoint in between towns and I get mm. there and my my car didn't have a number plate by mm -hmm. then. So I guess up by the cops and it's at night. Mm. So they take me to one of those tents yeah. that they set up by the side of the road, right? So I get in the I know, right? <laughs> so I get in the tent and just as I walk in, there's a little bulb. This is like around midnight. Mm -hmm. And it's like six cops. Mm -hmm. Relax. <laughs> PG-13. I know, right? So I get it. I walk into the tent, and this guy who walks with me from the car. Okay, calm down. No, you are dying. Like you're looking at him because I know you're cooking. You have so much that you want to throw at him. Yeah, I know. So like, yeah. So go, go. He does that. So I walk into the tent. And there's a little bulb, and the cop walking from the car then mm -hmm. recognizes me and says, "Ah, Kalang. I'm like, and you know when people use that name, I think mm. it's people from like way back. So mm. I think, okay, so where do you know me from? The podcast, guys. What about podcast? Mm. And next well, thing, I'm there we're taking photos with cops and look at you, man. Yeah. <laughs> That was a surreal moment, like, yeah, no. and this is in a, in a village, bro. Like, mm. I didn't expect anybody to know. This is between Serenje and Mpika. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. We didn't surrender in Pika. So for me, that was like, oh, okay. So mm-hmm. this podcast is going places. Like in a village this far? Yeah. Yeah. Which and is we had uh, Dr. Naeem, our resident uh, shrink. S- yeah. He was in Kenya. Oh. And a Kenyan recognized him from the podcast. You remember really? he told Yeah, he mentioned story. that. Yeah. Yeah, he was giving a speech and somebody came to him after. I was like, oh, I watch you on the Z podcast. I, I was like, oh, are you Z? Really? He said, no, I'm Kenyan. I was like, that's awesome. And he called immediately after that. Really? Like, it's like, hey, guys, like, put me on more episodes. Let me just be, know. you know, a part of you guys. But you know what? Let's also talk about the guests and the type yeah. of guests you've had on the podcast. Right. How intentional are you with the people that you bring? People we find interesting. Mm. So it's not really... Who would you never bring on your podcast? Ben Lombe. Um, Aunt Mili. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, plus... Am I leaving anybody up? Well, Ivanka was on that list. Ivanka was on the list. Yeah. No, what changed? Ask him. Oh, what changed? Um, I thought we became a little monotonous at some point. We sort of had the same type of guest, and I thought Ivanka would break that monotony. Mm. Yeah, so I, How I did forced you enjoy that episode? I did. It turned out to be one of his most favorite. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because we... We ended up seeing through... The whole act, the whole drama, attention seeking as somebody who was crying for help. I feel like you really don't like much. that a lot. Like I've seen you mm. call people out. You're like, hey, I feel like you're the type of person that would do A, B, C, D. Mm. And yeah, she she did admit that it was a cry for help. And we we did offer to pay for her therapy, which um, gladly she has taken up. And she's gone to a couple of um, sessions. Mm. So yeah, it's uh, turned out well. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Now, looking at the fact that that one sort of changed your mind, could you possibly change your mind going forward? Maybe looking at the personalities you mentioned, the Ben Lombe and Timilis, would you maybe change your mind? Again, if we find them interesting, mm-hmm. it's just about, you know, can I have a conversation with you? Yeah. Can, do you have substance? Do you have something that, like, can we hold a conversation? Yeah. Yeah. If we can, cool. You don't really have to be popular. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. We can just have a conversation with anybody that we find interesting. Yeah. Now, saying that about Ivanka, who have you had on the podcast that sort of changed your perspective on something? Or maybe the way you looked at them? Like, maybe you saw them at a distance, whatever, Jaja, and then you had a conversation, and you're like, you know what? I think you're pretty interesting or, like, pretty cool. For me, Reverend Walter, the episode coming up today. I was going to yeah. ask about the episodes. Let me hear what he has to say. Um, man, we've had a lot of um, episodes. But I think I would say Oscar Chafula. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? What changed for you? Um, because from the outside looking in, he seems like a guy who has it together until obviously you you peel back the layers mm-hmm. and you see uh, the trauma he's been through, um, the the tribulations, and yeah, yeah just basically the stuff that he that people don't see. You mm-hmm. know, they see the um, the yellow portion. They're like, ah, oh, no, I want to be like that. But mm. What led up to that is what you don't see. Yeah. So yeah, it's like a sort of um, a peek behind the curtain. That's awesome. Now let's talk about hitting a hundred episodes. Congratulations! You decided to shoot this one with an audience. Why did you want to make it very different? What, um, I mean, it's 100 episodes, so it's a huge milestone, and for me, that's, I'd would, I would love to call us the new face of consistency, because, I mean, how many podcasts have started and, you know, fallen off along the way, but mm. 100 episodes, and especially when it comes, we, we keep reiterating this point, that mm-hmm. a lot of people told us we'll not go past episode 5 or 10, because there are not that many celebrities in Zambia. For real? Yes. You should see the comments from, like... Two years like ago. When you started. Yes. There was a lot of negativity. You guys are not going anywhere. People have done this before. We've seen Helen start and cele- she's run out of celebrities and <laughs> she's gone off. run out of celebrities. Uh, yeah. People say all these things. And yeah. um, I think for me, it's a huge milestone. 100 episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a huge milestone. And the numbers we've gone as well, social media, YouTube and the likes, it's, mm-hmm. it's worth celebrating. Yeah. So let's talk about the guests on this very episode, the hundredth one. Mm-hmm. Reverend Water and there's a gentleman called Monito. Moto. Yeah. Yes. Talk to me about the selection because you're saying you're trying to celebrate it. How did you pick those two personalities, and what would you like for them to do for your audience? I got it. Um, we actually didn't want to have a guest on episode 100. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be honest, man. Like uh, Reverend Water was very really last minute. Like you know what? Let's just have a guest. Somebody uh, can I don't talk know to. If you want to say that because now he feels like. A... <laughs> no, he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, it, it was. I mean, just being honest, 
But it turned out to be a very good, you know, bet because mm. wish you should see the episode. Yeah. Like enough what gems to drop. What time does it drop today? Uh, okay. In about an hour and a half. Ah, yeah. great. Second longest episode we've done. Yeah, it's almost three hours. Is that much content? Yeah. Almost three hours. Yeah, it's about actually it's three hours. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Now let's talk about you getting nominated for awards and winning awards on an African level, international level. So did you see that for the podcast? Like, did you feel the same example that you gave, saying somebody had gone to a different country, somebody recognized them and told them, hey, I watched you from that said podcast. So also getting recognition and for people that just watch and then they feel like, oh, let's give them an accolade, just some sort of recognition and an upload to say you guys are doing a great job. No, when we got the email, Kalinga said this the last time, we thought it was a prank. You know how you just get the spam emails. Mm-hmm. Oh, you won a car. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, Africa. I'm a Nigerian yeah. prince. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian prince yeah. stuck somewhere. You know? yeah, yeah, so we thought that was one of those until they mm-hmm. had to send a second email. And you're like, mm-hmm. hold on, this might be real. Yeah. Second email and a call. Because even the second one, we didn't respond. Because yeah. I thought, why would Trace Africa write to us through a third party? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So we ignored that email as well. Mm, yeah. I see. So now that you are on that list, I've seen it's open doors for a couple of Africans who've been there before you guys. Mm-hmm. What's the plan for that Z podcast? What do you intend to do with the platform? The plan is don't nobody talk to us directly. <laughs> who do we call? You, you wanna, <laughs> call Huey. Call Huey. Oh, that's who. Do you know who name? Huey is? Who is Huey? Oh, Find out. No, tell me. Yeah, the way you go through to Kalinga now, you know, mm. that, that doesn't That's, happen anymore. Oh. Yeah, yeah those days are you have to go that through number two, people now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. See what I'm saying? I want to be on your level. Yeah, like, no, I really so, want so. to. I... We're employing a PA. You should apply for the job. <laughs> 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 I'm not playing around. You know what? I love it. So before we get to wrap up, uh, that's it. Podcast has been doing incredible things. Also breaking norms when it comes to things that you gave us examples. People in the beginning said, ah, I don't go anywhere. It's never going up where people have done it before. And you guys keep going. You keep doing that. So I'm a young creative, possibly without a podcast. But there's somebody else out there that watches your podcast and thinks, oh, I would like to start a podcast. What does somebody need to have to start a podcast? A brain. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> I like how you're throwing them at each other. I want to hear another one because uh, authenticity. Yeah. Um, be resilient. You will have a lot of uh, hurdles. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing it for money or to be famous, mm-hmm. you will be frustrated. Yeah. So just yeah. like what you do. Mm-hmm. Passion P1. I mean, there's many people who've seen. And I've, I've approached him and I over, you know, starting our own podcast because they've seen what we've done with ours and they think I'm they starting a podcast as well. Mm. I'll probably get fame or make money or whatever. Then two, three episodes down the line, nothing is happening. They stop. Yeah. Nothing happened for us for over 60 episodes. Yep. Yeah. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Over no, no, no. 60 episodes. Nothing. nothing. No sponsors. One or two here and there, but not really sponsors. Advertisers that would come in yeah. here. Maybe few and far between. Yeah. Here we are, episode 100. That's when things are starting to move now. Mm-hmm. So it takes a lot of... Um, Resilience, like he said. Yeah. Passion, patience. And yeah. brains. I think your producer is going to kill you now. <laughs> no, he's not going to kill me. I still have oh, a little time? bit of time. I still have a little bit of time. All right. Okay. Uh, who would you like to have on the podcast? The president. What, do, what would you like to ask him? <sighs> um, does he have any other dance apart from the one that he does? I would like to know who his barber is. Mm. Um, I would like to see him smile more. Okay. Um, Hopefully we make him smile, yeah. Mm, I know, sure th- those, are, those are very pertinent and important questions that the nation would like to know. Yeah. No? Yeah, very. Kalinga, who would you like to have? In the president's own words, very important. Very, very important. Who would you like to have on the podcast? Um, ish we've had, I think everyone I've wanted, but we're aiming for the president now. I'll, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll, do, do you know him? You got his number? Yes, I do. Actually. I have both his numbers, actually. But getting through to him, yeah. Now, yeah. You know, I, I, I wish you could tell he's looking at you like you haven't been calling this man and you have his number. You know what? His, his, his personal lines? I last called him a week before the elections in 2021. <laughs> 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 who's, calling, who's calling him now at that level? Nobody, nobody has those numbers and he's yeah, not using one of them anymore. Yeah, he doesn't like, have those numbers no. either. <laughs> You know what, gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by and congratulations. Keep on doing what you're doing. You've done amazing things for, you've caused a shift in the creative space in Zambia. Really? And we say, yes, you have. Yeah, yes, you. you have changed that. Humble. So we appreciate you and we wanted to give you flowers. Well, you can still smell them. Can they come in the form of money? The flowers. Yes. 
I could give you a litre of flowers. <laughs> you just want money. Money smells better. How much money? Enough. Enough money. Ah, uh, Elson, don't answer me. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to close off with a song that Elson had picked. Yes. It's from Winky D. Why did you choose that song? What do you like about it? Be so, it basically talks about just being focused on what's positive mm -hmm. and all the troubles, the tribulations all disappear. The minute mm -hmm. that you focus on what's important. Mm. So, it's called Disappear by Winky D. Exactly. We played you um, Angelique Kijo and Yemi 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 Alade. Alade. Yeah. Why do you like that song? Um, Angelique Kijo is like one of my personal favorites from back in the day, yeah, and no I couldn't, I couldn't. I I like why him. does he like? Why do I like Yemi? Bunda. <laughs> you know. I would have picked Yemi, but the reason uh -huh. he gave me for the first song that uh -huh. I chose is go yeah. was going to be the same with. Uh, mm. But you know what? Angelique Let me tell Kijo. the viewers something. So um, those two, I think you're like old souls, and it's like yeah. a good thing. So I'm asking them, I'm like, oh, what songs can we play? He's like, Olive <laughs> Tukudzi. Mm -hmm. He's like, Papa Wemba. I'm like. K plus, come on! I mean, I understand. For and Oliver you came Tukuzi. back to us and said, "What about Oliver Mtukudzi?" Um, no, for Oliver, I, I no, I just said we do not have a recent, current video, or recent, recent video, video yeah. that we could actually play that of a standard quality to be put on TV. Yeah. That, no, 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 that's a lot. Uh, don't try to misquote me. But you know what? Thank you so much, gentlemen, for stopping <laughs> by. Uh, before we go, we're broadcasting to Zimbabwe as well. Elson, I'd like you to say something in your native language just to the audience. His native language is Yanja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, no more. Okay, just say something. Do you, what do you speak in Devele, Shona? I just said this. Come on. Zikomo, thank you so much for watching. Muchi Munzi. I want you to say it. Muchi Munzi. Let's go. When we support party, we want all across the city disappear. When we support party, we are party. Oscar, all right. Hop a gatabu. You know what the hop a gatabu. Hop a gatabu. Dance are you good? Gafara funga kuwachi sama puro bule mo ese Chaga kuva malaga masaida ma whisky kunyangwe masese Kana pane jeri kukuneza uya to zitapu za jese Tora sipi uone mejiki zino shamura jese Ma puro bule mo ese disapie sapie Ndirona kuvo ita happy nisie Ndati zoni disapie sapie Mwanyangira munu wa sirie Anapa i happy happy No is paki alula, popo baji ma amarula, madola marans ma pula, nasi tiri kujga mula, upa shota SQ tota leluya, dir kungo gaya preja mu medula, HKT iri kupi darula, pari papureja isinde suta rula, ndo da kufara kosi kanda admiti wapa mo beta kunge chigulani, matira boru esenda ma pisa ne moto safa ya president de tulani, nda binda buru ayo vundi piga jimo koso pura zuchiti skupani, sacha gena mo pan. We want to move when they want to move in the land. My poor problem is that they disappear, disappear. You know that we want to help in this year. That is only disappear, disappear. When you hear a moon, you are serious. And I'm happy, happy, happy. 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 But <laughs> Kafariro kacha kondo ita kunge mwana arimu nepi Vaya vajaira kutora mapiki chapa kuta snepi Mapura kule mseze disapie sapie Ndirona kumbo ita happy nisie Ndati zoni disapie sapie Mwanyangira munu wa sirie Anapa i happy happy
kapura Hapura kapura Hapura katapura, hapura katapura, hapura katapura.